We're out here today to test the Head Sprint Pro 3.5. Let's get started. I've been lucky enough to test many iterations of this shoe and some of the other head shoes, and this for sure remains the fastest, speediest shoe in their line. I have to say with this update, the cosmetics are spot on. This shoe is beautiful. I got tons of compliments walking to and from the courts when I had these on. Um, this is not gonna be the most cushioned shoe though, and I have to admit from previous versions, it felt like there was a little less cushioning, and it's a very responsive feel underfoot, but definitely not super plush or anything but that allowed me to feel really quick, move fast. I really like the updated upper on this shoe. It's very breathable, very lightweight, but still really good support. And I had no stability issues with this shoe either. The Revolt Pro is gonna be a more stable option, but this one held my feet really well. As far as durability, the outsole's holding up really well for me, not too much wear. While this shoe is not meant to be the most durable shoe in Head's lineup, I'm really surprised with how well the outsole is wearing. The traction was great just for me. Not too slick, but not too sticky either. So if I'm looking for a really speedy shoe, especially for match day, this is gonna be the Head shoe I choose. This review closely follows in the footsteps of the Revolt Pro 4.0 review. So I felt really comfortable in these shoes right away. And unlike the Revolt, I felt really comfortable in these updated sprints right away there was no break in for me i did find that these were a little bit faster than those shoes those have gotten a little bit uh, faster but these are definitely lighter around the court and also more breathable i really appreciated the mesh uppers in there these, it's quite chilly out here today but we've actually recently had some heat waves and my feet never felt overheated in these shoes as i was moving around on the court i always felt sure of foot these shoes aren't quite as stable as Michelle had mentioned as those revolts, but I still felt very well supported and the mesh was breathable yet still held my feet in place. I also liked that these shoes were really quite quiet on the court, so I never was bothered by any squeaking. And for lightweight shoes, I'm impressed by the durability. I have not seen any wear on the toes or the outsoles quite yet, and I've worn them about a dozen hours, so I'm very impressed there. Overall, I think if you're looking for the speedier shoe of the head lineup, I'd go with these sprints. And if you're looking for something a little bit more durable and stable, I would go with the Revolt. I have to agree with what the other playtester said. And after wrapping up the Revolt Pro 4.0, the first thing I noticed when I slipped these Sprint Pro 3.5s on was the fit. Now with the Revolt Pro, it was a little bit too wide for me, not only in the toe box, but also in the midfoot and the heel. And so I was really excited when I slipped these on and I found to be a little bit more of a snugger medium fit. I thought they fit my narrow foot really well. The length was true to size and the toe box was a nice medium fit for me. Not a lot of extra room. So I really appreciate that for my narrow feet. Now moving on, I didn't find any break in period with the shoe is very comfortable from the very first step onto the court. The upper was nice and soft and molded around my foot as well as I thought the cushioning underfoot, like Michelle said, was a little bit more minimal, but I found that it offered a really low to the ground and I felt really connected to the court, as well as it's nice and lightweight, so I felt really fast and speedy on the court. One thing that I look for in shoes now after having a major ankle injury is support and stability. It's become much higher on my list of important things. And for this shoe, the very first couple times I hit, I thought the shoe held my foot in place really well, but as time wore on, I noticed that the uppers were loosening up a little bit and my foot was moving not only forwards and backwards in the shoe, but side to side. And I was getting a little bit of ankle soreness at the end. I did use the last eyelid to get a little bit more of a cinched up feel on my heel and that tended to help a little bit. But overall, I'm still looking for a more supportive shoe, but players looking for a nice speedy fast shoe should definitely check this out. For more information on this shoe or any others, please check us out at Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, or Tennis Only.